So we're here in China Basin in the Whitefish Range on uh, Monday, January 23rd. And we had probably three to four inches of new snow overnight right at the surface. Not a whole lot of wind. Just below that though, we have a surface hoard layer that's been buried in most locations across the advisory area. And it's probably gonna be more evident in more protected, more sheltered areas, less prone to wind. Uh, below that, we have the January 19th melt freeze crust, which is something to pay attention to. So these weak layers, we may have, we have a few facets on top of that as well, or a layer of thin facets on top of that. So these layers don't really have a slab on top of them yet. But once and if we do get a slab on top of that, it's going to be really important to pay attention to these layers. Um, we also have a softer, thinner faceted layer about 40 to 45 centimeters from the surface. None of these layers are actually reactive or they're not propagating across our column and our extended column tests. But we also have really weak snow at the ground that we've been talking about all season. Really weak sugary snow. So there's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of variability across the landscape right now. When the uncertainty is high, when the variability is high, terrain is the answer, meaning choose appropriate terrain for the hazard. So when the uncertainty is high, choosing more conservative terrain.